More than 4,500 people waited more than 24 hours to be seen in Scotland's A&E department in the first eight months of this year. That's 250 times higher than in 2019. Doctors are warning delays will cost lives, as Brandon Cook reports. Just take it over. Kirsty has lived with a heart condition for most of her adult life. So when an infection took her to accident and emergency in August, she presumed she would have been seen fairly quickly. But the department was so busy with higher priority cases that she waited over 25 hours for a bed. Kind of scared to say it to them because they're just running back and forth, running back and forth, running. You don't really want to annoy them or interrupt them through a task that could be somebody that might be dying. You just don't know what they're dealing with. So it gives somebody a lot worse off than yourself. So I try to keep my mouth shut, but I would have seen my maybe about six, seven in the morning. That's when I started going, right, what's happening? Um, or will there be a bed? Anyone visiting A&D should be seen, treated and either admitted or sent home within four hours. But lengthy waits are becoming more common across Scotland, a trend which is worrying frontline medics. Previously a 12-hour stay in our emergency departments was a never event and now it's an everyday occurrence. And unfortunately for many of our patients, usually waiting for admission to a hospital bed, they will now spend 12, 24, even more hours, periods of times in our emergency departments in an environment that's entirely unsuitable for that length of stay. Figures show that from 2012 until 2022, patients waiting more than 24 hours in accident and emergency were very rare. But then the numbers start to rise, hitting a high in December last year. Between January and August this year, 4,603 patients waited more than a day in A&D. The Royal College of Emergency Medicine say this situation has almost nothing to do with people turning up to accident and emergency when they should have gone elsewhere, for example, GP surgeries. Instead, they say this is a problem deep-rooted in a lack of capacity across wards and social care and demands urgent attention. We're taking action to try and address these issues through expanding hospital at home, extra investment into our ambulance service and also working with the health and social care partnerships to make sure that those who are ready for discharge are able to get home or back into the community as quickly as possible. The SNP have not learnt. Donald McCaskill today in Health Committee has told us that actually the winter recovery plan is not worth the paper it's written on. So we are going to see the worst winter ever and that's just not acceptable. We need to be doing better for our patients. With winter on the horizon, frontline medics say measures must be put in place now to avoid a repeat of last year. Brandon Cook, STV News, Glasgow.